Hello there. Last Monday was certainly not your average Monday because Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced their engagement. Yay, royal wedding. If you can't already tell, I love and am fascinated by the royal family. I'm half English, so I can't help it. And I'm so excited to see this institution step into a very modern era with this couple. Megan will be an incredible representative and role model. Please look her up, read some interviews, watch her UN women's speech. She's smart, passionate about great causes, cultured, and a beauty junkie too. Sadly for the rest of us, the closest we'll now come to marrying Prince Harry is maybe wearing the same shoes or shirt as Meghan or realising you already use her favourite blush. So this is how you can recreate Meghan Markle's look. The best part was that 90% of her favourite products were already in my makeup drawer. Way too pleased about that. So these are honest reviews from me, plus that stamp of royal approval. These are her top picks, assembled in order so you can create a complete makeup look. Megan is a fellow tinted moisturizer fan, and her favorite is the Laura Mercier Radiance Foundation Primer, which I actually featured in last week's video on tinted moisturizers. She's also been quoted as using the illuminating version too. For most people, this is just a primer, but it has enough of a tint and glow that I like using it on its own as well. She says she loves it because you can still see her freckles, but it makes her skin so radiant. Next, YSL Touche Eclat. She's called it, this is her all time favorite product. A lovely, illuminating, brightening concealer that does a great job faking extra hours sleep and bringing some light to the high points of the face. I've used so much of mine that there's nothing left. <laughs> Megan uses this as part of her five minute face. She says she only needs this, an eyelash curler, mascara, blush, and lip balm. Speaking of blush, her favorite is NARS Orgasm, another one many of you will have in your makeup bags. This was actually one of only two products that I didn't own. I always thought it might be too shimmery. So I grabbed the mini duo with the Laguna bronzer to give it a go. And I really like it. I've always been a peachy blush person, so I don't know why it's taken me this long. Megan used this both on and off camera because she says it gives you a glow from within. Moving on to eyes where she is one step ahead of all of us because she has wonderful big brown eyes, but she enhances them with MAC Eye Coal in Teddy. Very famous shade that I'd heard a lot about, but this was the only other thing I didn't own. I actually don't buy much MAC, but I knew this would be a good investment. Megan says she uses this to amp up her look on a night out. It's a deep brown with a slight gold shimmer that looks great blended out. Another Megan eyeliner is the Chanel Stilo Year Waterproof. I have lots of these. I love the formula because you can blend it and create an entire eye look. She uses this great deep purple shade Cassis on her lash line and waterline. It's almost black, but I love it because it makes green eyes pop. Plus a suggestion of my own that would look great on her too, Espresso, really dark, intense brown that's great to fake a thicker lash line. Plus Prune Noir as well, which is a dark purple that's sort of a combination between Cassis and Teddy. To prep her lashes, she uses one of the most famous curlers in the world by Shu Uemura. I've had this for years and it's always reliable. I don't reach for it that often because my lashes have a bit of a natural curl, but this will really help if you're looking for a lot of lift. Megan says it makes you look instantly awake. Her mascara is the Dior Show Iconic. I have the regular Dior Show formula, so it's close enough. This is great for adding volume and length, but I suspect from the look of the Dior Show Iconic brush, you'd get even more definition and separation between the lashes. I always love hearing what other people use on their lips, and one of Megan's all-time favorites is one of mine too. Charlotte Tilbury's Matte Revolution in Very Victoria. This is the best nude. It's a beautiful, subtle shade that gives your lips shape and a slightly brown tint. It's so nice. I don't think she was wearing it when they announced their engagement. That's a mystery I might need your help solving. Megan and I also share a love of the same lip balm, the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatments. She says, I've searched high and low and tried every kind of lip balm, but this is the very best. Soft, kissable, buttery lips. I swear by it. And so do I. I did a video on these lovely tinted versions a little while ago, but she also uses the Advanced Lip Therapy Formula, so I'd love to try that one next. To finish, she's a Jo Malone perfume fan like I am. She wrote on her blog that her two signature scents are Wild Bluebell and Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Bluebell is such a pretty, fresh, light floral scent. It's not overwhelming or too sweet. To keep her skin looking so clear and glowy before all of this, Megan uses Kate Somerville Exfolicate. I only picked this up recently after trying a sample and it's really impressive. It does feel a bit intense, makes your face tingle slightly, but it certainly reveals brighter, smoother skin afterwards like a mini facial. Not very often we get access to a royal beauty look, so when I read articles on her favorite makeup and they were almost all products I use regularly, I had to film this. It's something I can honestly vouch for. This is exactly the sort of easy look I create so often for work or on weekends. It's natural, laid back, but still very polished. 
Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial of sorts. Please let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear if you use any of these products too, or if you'd like me to try to recreate other celebrity makeup bags. This was really fun. See you next time. P.S. Does Meghan Markle get to play Meghan Markle in The Crown when it reaches about season 42? I hope so. <laughs>